Hey guys, how you doing? What's going on? It's time to do some more hot pepper videos, or sorry, hot sauce videos. Expect a couple mess ups. Um, got three hot sauces here I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do them all in one long video and just cut them up into pieces. Um, I had some more hot sauces, but on the weekend I got a little crazy on my broadcast, and uh, well, decided to actually chug these friggin' things. Can you believe that? I chugged the whole freaking bottles on a Saturday night. Got a little crazy. This is a very good sauce. Uh, I did actually review this one before I chugged it. So, uh, and I also chugged this one. This one I actually did not actually do a review on because I just decided to open it and chug the damn thing. The whole freaking bottle. And it does have one of those uh, limiter caps on it or whatever. This is Marie Sharp's uh, Grapefruit Pulp Habanero Pepper Sauce. Very good sauce, by the way. Very good. Nice and tasty. Um, probably wouldn't have known that from Saturday night because it just down the whole damn thing. That's on video too. Um, you'll probably have already seen that. You might have already seen that. If not, it's uh, it's going to be up. It is or will going to be up. Here today I've got uh, three sauces I want to do right quick. Uh, Trying to make them too long. I've got two glasses of water here. Basically this glass of water, uh, this water is to rinse my spoon after each sauce. Uh, now, I've only got this water here, I've just rinse my palate after the sauce so I can actually get, get a taste of the sauces. I mean, I'm not just going to do these, these videos just to, just to say, uh, oh, it's hot. No, nope, that's not hot. Oh, that's on, that, that one's kind of hot. Uh, just a little bit. No, I'm, I'm doing it for the taste of the videos. Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay, so <laughs> without further ado, let's get on with this. Um, I will be getting more of these Blair's death, death sauces as I can get them. They are a, a little pricey, so it's not like I can go and buy, you know, six or seven at a time, but I don't think they also, they don't quite stock all these, all the ones on the list here. But anyways, I've, I researched, I did a little bit of research. This one here is about 30,000 on the Scoville rating, Scoville heat rating, which is not that hot. Um, well, I mean, it's, you know, about three to four times a, a jalapeno pepper. Regular jalapeno, fresh jalapeno. We got no wimps allowed here. Maria Sharps, no wimps allowed. And I found a Scoville rating on the, on the internet one for this one. It says, I think it was a misprint. It had to be a mis some said 350,000 but now I, I'm thinking I watched uh, I watched a guy's video and it didn't it didn't fizz him at all so and he said it was pretty mild so maybe it wasn't 350 maybe it was supposed to be 35,000 that's what I'm thinking anyways guess I'll do the original first and this one here and this one here is going to be the last one I'm assuming this is going to be the hottest one because because it is made with ghost peppers Nagajulika Nagajulakia pepper Let's get on with this. All right, I'll put these two aside for now. And I think we'll go with the Blair's first to, uh, we'll go with this one first and uh, give, you a, give it a good taste. And oh, I've got a skull on there, that's good. I'll just tell you what's in the ingredients real quick. Uh, habanero peppers, vinegar, cayenne peppers, salt, garlic, chipotle peppers, cornstarch, lime juice concentrate, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, onions, herbs, and spices. Cool. No xanthan. So this is this one here is the fourth one up on the list. I couldn't, I, I already did the jalapeno. Like I said, I already, I already did the jalapeno. Good stuff. Uh, kind of a low heat. Um, couldn't find the golden death. Couldn't find the golden death. So let's get into this sucker and get going on this. If I cut myself with a knife, I'll just wash wash the cut with the with the hot sauce. My skull. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Don't for, do not forget to give it a good shake. Shake up your hot sauce's fist. There's Blair. Is that Blair on the side? Okay, here's on with the Blair's original. This is the Blair's original. It smells wonderful. It's got a pretty nice smell to it. This is a tablespoon. And this one, like I say, this is 30,000, so I guess I don't have to fill it right to the friggin' edges, so it's dripping all over the table here, but it's close. It's a, uh, ooh, it's kind of a runny sauce. Uh, a little bit runny, not, not very thick, so I can't tilt the teaspoon or tablespoon. I'll get that lid back on. Oh, well. Yeah, it's pretty thin sauce, so anyways, let's go with this one here. 30,000? Eh, uh, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Nice little kick there right off the bat. Of course, the vinegar, <laughs> it's got, not only does the heat kick you at first, it's the, the vinegar, it's pretty strong in vinegar, so that kicks me too. Uh, that gets me a little, a little strong vinegar, like, like Frank's, like the Frank's red hot sauce. Damn, a lot of vinegar in that. Okay. Wow, that was nice. All right, so there, there's little chunks in it. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be. I don't know if it's chunks of pepper. Chipotle peppers. Yeah, probably little pieces of the, the onion and stuff like that. But Oh, that's a nice heat. First off, it's got a fairly decent heat. That's a good heat level. That's about where you want it. Um, I'm glad I didn't chug that one on Saturday. That's a nice sauce, actually. Very nice. Uh, the strongest, uh, the strongest uh, flavor is actually the vinegar. Um, pretty strong on the vinegar side. But you can taste the peppers. And there's definitely, I can taste the garlic. Nice garlic flavor in there. Um, got a nice uh, flavor to it. Um, it's not the most flavorful, flavor, flavorful sauce that I've had. Uh, like I said, it actually does, it, I hate to say it, and I don't want to insult the, you know, the Blair, Blair or the company, the company that makes it, but it actually is quite reminiscent of Frank's, uh, Frank's Extra Hot. It's, uh, it's not a whole lot different flavor-wise, uh, aside from that, with the Chipotle, so... So yeah, but that's nice. It, it still is a pretty nice sauce. A little high, a little high on the uh, vinegar. A little. Uh, been, I've been told that vinegar is is the the one ingredient that actually opens your taste bud, it opens up your taste buds, like opens up. Sorry, opens up, opens your pores. But uh, yeah, the, the vinegar is what opens up the pores in, in, in your on your on your your tongue, your flesh, or whatever, and that's creating more of that heat to get in. So. Uh, other than that, this is this is a fairly tasty sauce. It's got uh, it's got some nice flavors in it. Uh, a pretty good heat level. Um, but I think most people that do like hot sauces or hot food could handle this. Uh, the heat the heat from this one. Very nice. Uh, I'm not going to rate hot sauces. I'm just going to say this is a, this is a pretty decent sauce. Uh, I would recommend it, I suppose. Long, like I say, as long as you don't mind a little bit more of that vinegar in there, that is, the vinegar is a bit strong. Could you know, it could it could step back on the vinegar a little bit on this one, and up some of the other ingredients, and the ingredients. But yeah, not a bad sauce at all. I like that. That'll go good on uh, chicken. Okay, that's a pretty good sauce. I actually think personally, even though the the, the Blair's Jalapeno Death sauce uh, has a lot has a lower heat uh, lower heat to it. I actually think I like the flavor of this one better than this one, uh, just because this one had more of a, well, you'll see it in the video, had a lot of different flavors that uh, don't exist in this one. This one is more like, uh, this one's just more like heat vinegar, basically. Those are the two big, biggest concepts in that one. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching, um, and I'll see you soon. See you in the next hot sauce review.